1,294 games, 1,040 points, six Selkie trophies, and one Stanley Cup. All of this for one team. Today officially marks the end of an era for Boston Bruins hockey. This was the announcement that we all knew was coming sooner or later. And for Bruins fans, boy do they wish it was later. Because after 19 years, Patrice Bergeron announced that at 38, he has decided to retire. The hole that this man leaves for the Boston Bruins is simply irreplaceable. As the captain of the Bruins, Bergeron was the gold standard of what it meant to be a leader. Both on and off the ice, he set an example of what every player should strive to be. Probably the best testament to Bergeron is that throughout all those years where everyone hated the Bruins, the one guy that you couldn't hate was Patrice Bergeron. What's so impressive to me is how well he was still playing even after deciding this season to retire. In his last NHL season, he put up 58 points in 78 games, but if you watched him play night in and night out, you would know just how important he was to the identity and system of the Boston Bruins. This year's Selkie winner, to no surprise, was of course Patrice Bergeron. His advanced numbers reflected how great he was at defending 5 on 5 situations, but if you look at the eye test, there's so many little things that he did consistently to make the Bruins a nightmare to play against. For example, if you have a team that murders you in the cycle, Bergeron is there to support and stop the bleeding. Need help defending the rush? Bergeron is almost always in the right spot. What's amazing is that this isn't even the prime stage of his career, but this level of play was standard for him right up until his last game in a Bruins uniform. No matter where the play was, Bergeron was almost always in the right spot on both sides of the puck. Even when Boston used the perfection line, Bergeron knew how to perfectly complement players like Pashnak and Marshawn. There was this absurd goal from last season where all three of them basically did a circus act to keep possession, but what I love is the subtlety of Bergeron to get ahead of the play and open up his body before Pasternak has even given the puck to Marshawn. Sure enough, once Marshawn gets this puck, Bergeron is already in position to pull the trigger. You could argue that he wasn't as skillful as Marshawn and Pasternak, but his hockey IQ allowed him to work perfectly with their skill. If you go back and watch a lot of his goals, you'll notice just how great he is at finding soft spots in the dangerous areas of the ice. For an aging player that has to deal with the game getting faster and faster, this is exactly how he was able to keep up and excel for all these years. Not to mention, the level of compete and will that he played with was contagious up and down the Bruins lineup. The Bruins' identity for years has been extremely hard to play against, and that's because their captain leads by example. Whether it's battling for pucks or playing through injuries like how he did in the 2013 Cup run with a punctured lung, Patrice Bergeron was willing to do anything it took to win. The unfortunate part is that his career ends with a brutal Bruins Game 7 loss. But if you look back after the game and look at the reactions of all the Bruins teammates, it tells you everything you need to know about the level of respect people have for Patrice Bergeron. As for the Bruins, if you look at their lineup, it is looking really, really thin down the middle. If David Krejci also chooses to retire, you got Zaka, Coyle, and Geeky in the middle, which, if you're going to compete for a Stanley Cup, just isn't going to cut it. I still like their defensive core and their goaltending, but the Bruins are going to have a really difficult time replacing what Bergeron brought to this team both on and off the ice. Anyways, let me know if you believe Boston is still a playoff team after this announcement. And also drop your favorite Bergeron memory in the comments down below. For me as a Leaf fan, it's still the Game 7 comeback win in 2013 where Bergeron got the OT winner. It was devastating in the moment, but great players rise to the occasion and Patrice Bergeron was that guy. Anyways, drop a comment, like, subscribe, and if you want to see more NHL breakdowns, click on any of the links right here.